hello in this video i'll show you how to make your laptop or your pc run faster now this video applies to you if you have no budget or money to upgrade certain pc parts like your ram and your storage maybe from hard drive to ssd maybe from a two gigabyte to an eight gigabyte you understand so if you don't have that budget like myself and you're trying to get the most out of your laptop or pc and improve the performance to stop that annoying feeling whenever you're using it this video is for you i'll show you um certain things or steps that you can take to improve the performance and speed of your laptop now the first thing i always advise is to disable your windows updates whether you're on windows 11 or 10 disable windows updates so disable it so how to do that the first thing you do is to what press your window key or your keyboard then you type what services now it's going to bring you here it's going to show you this rather you click on services then you click and press the w key on your keyboard it's a shortcut to get to windows update faster so when i press that you scroll down and you look for what windows update here it is now you double click on this then it shows you the startup type that it's manual if it's on manual or automatic change it to what disabled do you understand change it to disabled then if um right now is not updating because i switched it off earlier so in your case it's going to be either on automatic or manual then you might see the stop button highlighted meaning it is already running so now if you see the stop button highlighted you have to what stop it by clicking on it my stop button now is grayed out because it is not running the windows update is not running so that's why it's grayed out so in your case it might be highlighted so you have to toggle it off then after that you what you click on apply make sure it's on disabled and make sure you stop the service you click on the stop button then you click on click on what apply and you click on ok now note before you come here and, <clears throat> and disable your windows update do not connect to the internet for fast effectiveness you understand do not connect your laptop or your pc to the internet before you come here to disable because if you connect before coming here the update must have started in the background so that is why i recommend you you do this before you connect your laptop or pc to the internet so once this has been disabled you click on what you click on ok and that's one of the major steps you know you can take to improve the performance because when windows is updating in the background it's using your system resources your processor your ram you know your storage and all that so it's using them in the background aside the application you're working on at that point in time so after you disable this what you close it now another step is to what disable uh, background apps windows is fond of that is they are all on by default so to disable this you click on what your windows button you press your windows button rather then you type on what you type background apps these settings are applies to both windows uh, 10 and 11. so now as you can see my background apps are what's turned off so uh, um by default it's going to be on like this so you can see all the apps you know default apps that comes with the windows operating system that are running by default in the background so imagine if you're using a pc or a laptop with four gigabytes of ram you imagine how slow this can you know be so you have to toggle this what off just come here and switch everything off you don't need it whatever apps you want to give access to um to, you want to connect to the internet with you can do that manually when you open the app but by default what switch this off so this is another major step you know to help improve the performance of your pc now another uh, settings is um, you know you change the appearance and performance of your operating system and what i mean by that is you you press your windows key and you type on what performance now you're going to see this option it says what adjust appearance and performance uh, of windows you click on this now it's going to bring you here now by default this is what you see but mean that my uh, pc has enough specification you know that's why i'm not really bothered with this but in your own case you can switch this to what adjust for best performance so the only thing you need to change is 
you come down here where it says show thumbnail instead of um icons you toggle this on then you select smooth edges of screen font these are the two settings you should turn on and this will change to what custom so leave it that way only check these two settings show thumbnails instead of icons smooth edges of screen fonts click on apply and click on ok that is it that is another settings you can um, change you know to improve the performance of your pc or your laptop so another good settings you know to help improve this is to delete temporal files so all the settings i'm showing you now they are all shortcuts i don't want to take to i don't want to take you to through the long process so to do this you press your windows key plus r on your keyboard this will toggle on this run dialog for you so what you need to do is what you type prefetch like this and you what press enter or click on ok now it's going to bring you all this so this works best if you're using the if you're still using the traditional HDD, the addicts. You know, it has mechanical parts moving inside and all that. So these settings works best for um hard drives, you understand? But never the nevertheless you can still do this, it's still going to improve the performance of your PC or your laptop. So all you need to do is what you press Ctrl A on your keyboard to select everything and you what you delete. You understand when you get something like this don't worry just cancel and that's all you need to do so another one is you press you run your or uh, you bring up the run dialog box again by pressing your windows key plus r then you type temp and press enter the same thing you select everything and you what and you delete you click on cancel then lastly you come here again by pressing your windows key plus r then you type uh percent type percent stamp percent these are temporary files used by the applications uh that you've been running for a while so you select you click click on what you delete then you can so if you if you get that prompt again now this is going to go a long way to help you know to improve the performance of your pc trust me it's going to help then if you're using the traditional drive you can go ahead and what you defragment do you get you defragment your storage what i mean is um it's it, it takes out you know bad sectors or corrupted sectors and rearrange your files you know to help save space and optimize it for performance if you know what i mean so to do that i'm using ssd so it does little or nothing but for those who are using the traditional hard drive you click on your windows button and you just type defragment now you're going to get this option defrag defragments and what optimized drives now it's going to show you here. obviously as you can see i'm using a solid state drive on ssd so for you if you're using an hdd you're going to have um add disk drive here so what you just need to do is what to analyze first you click on the analyze first then you click on the optimize then you wait for it to be done so once you wait for it to be done then you can close it. it's going to tell you if it's done and uh, you know so that'll be all you just need to restart your pc and you know uh is everything is going to be fine you understand so that's all you need to do so another another settings that is very important is to disable startup apps and this is very this is one of the biggest um, issues pc or laptop users face unknowingly to them so to do this uh you press the control button on your keyboard control shift and escape is going to bring you here uh the tax manager so you you, you navigate down to where it says startup you understand initially on these processes it shows all the apps and everything running on your pc you don't need to disable or touch anything here you understand because you have some of your windows operating system files that are that you need for your system to work so if you hand the tax or you disable them you're going to have or run into issues so where you need to come is what your startup 
just come to this startup tab now whatever has to do with microsoft or windows operating system you leave it but if uh you find any third applications or third party applications you installed yourself like the steam for instance um your google chrome you know like me for my vpn you understand or you understand just applications you installed yourself and that they are starting up when you turn on your pc or your laptop they are definitely going to eat up your resources even before you do anything you understand they are running in the background already because they are on by default to run when your windows boot up so all you need to do is to come here you select them and you what you disable i've disabled this already that's why i'm having enable right here below on my right hand side of my screen here so let's look for something i've not disabled so for instance this is my retech audio hd audio manager which is responsible for sound so obviously i can't delete or disable this rather i can't disable this because it's responsible for it's responsible for my audio working you understand so you need to read the application names and you know have an idea of what they do before you actually disable it you can't just disable everything there you understand so pretty much you're going to have most of the things that you installed yourself the third party applications so for example sake this itunes hyper for instance i've disabled it already but i can come here and en enable it back so by default you're going to have everything here what enabled you understand because most of the third app uh, third party applications they are enabled by default on startup so and there are some that uh immediately after you install them they even give you the options if you want the apps to start you know with the windows when you switch on your laptop or your pc so you need to select disabled so i've disabled this back so this is another settings that helps with the performance of your laptop or pc especially if the specification of your laptop or pc is very low now another general uh tip is to run one application at a time especially if you are very low on system ram so if you're on a 4 gig laptop or pc with 4 gig uh, ram you don't have enough ram you know to run multiple applications at the same time so take it one at a time you can't um be gaming for instance and you open um your chrome then you understand you can't multitask all the time when you don't when your system uh specification is very low so it's going to affect your performance so you open one applications at a time so that's pretty much the basic settings that can help improve the performance of your pc you understand so uh, i'll release a part two of this video where i'll still show you more things that you can do to um optimize or get the most out of your laptop or your pc see you in my next video